Hello everyone, it's time for Twilight Tales from the Bernards Township Library. I'm Miss Debbie, and tonight we're going to be reading some stories about ducks. But first we're going to learn how to say the word duck in sign language. So we'll hold up our hand and open and close it, like a duck quacking. Quack, quack. So, duck. Can you try it with me? Duck. Okay. First, we're going to start by singing our welcome song. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. First, we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. Let's try it one more time. Are you ready? Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. All right, our first story is called Do Like a Duck Does. And this story is by Judith Hinley and illustrated by Ivan Bates, and I'm reading it with permission from Candlewick Press. Five little ducklings follow their mother. Whatever any duck does, so does every other. So they waddle, and they hop, and they scuttle, and they stop. Flop, 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 all together. Quack, says Mama Duck. That's the way to be. Do like a duck does, do like me. There go the ducklings, all in a line. But who's creep creeping close, following behind? Wait, says Mama, you don't belong with us. Stop, says Mama, do you think you're a duck? Is that a duck? I don't think so. But of course, says the stranger with a waddle and a strut, that's just what I am, a big brown duck. Well, he has no feathers and he has no beak. He has four claws on his hairy, scary feet. He has two ears that stick up a mile and a wicked foxy nose and a wicked foxy smile. Mm. He's a fox, right? So Mama says, well then, do like us. Head up, tail up, toes pointing out. Stretch your little wings, dear, straighten up your back. Do like a duck does, quack, quack, quack. Then Mama leads them off together. Hup, hup, hup. Five little ducklings and a big round duck. A hairy, scary stranger. A very silly duck. says Mama, what a lovely patch of muck. Jump in the puddle, dear, show you're a duck. Lots of bugs and beetles swimming in the scum. Open up your beak, dear, yum, yum, yum. Look at that fox. Now the very hairy stranger has some notions of his own and he's looking at the ducklings when he says yum yum and he's creeping ever closer and he's very very near. Uh oh. But mama turns and catches him and says look here you don't like bugs you don't like muck you can't say quack are you such, you're a duck. Are you sure you're a duck? Yes, 
Yes, I am, says the stranger. It's really, really true. I can waddle, I can scuttle, I can strut a little too. I'm a duck, I'm a duck, I'm a duck like you. So Mama says, show it, prove you're a duck. Do like a duck does, do like us. Then they zip through the thistles and... They slip into the river, plop, 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 all together. Down go the ducklings, all tails up, and down goes the stranger, glup, glup, glup. So where are all the ducklings now? Here they all come. Pop, 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 pop. Every one. But where's the very hairy, scary stranger? Gone home. Here he is going across the bridge. Well, says Mama, what a bit of luck, but I really always knew that was no duck. Did you know from the beginning it wasn't a duck? It was a fox, right? That's the end of Do Like a Duck Does. Okay, we're going to do our rhyme about a caterpillar. And we're going to put our arm out like a tree trunk. We're going to give our caterpillar out. A fuzzy little caterpillar wiggled down the tree. He wiggled long. He wiggled short. He wiggled right to me. I put him in a covered box. Don't go away, I said. But when I looked again, I saw a butterfly instead. Do you remember how to make butterfly hands? We put our hands up, and we cross them, and we cross our thumbs. Butterfly hands, right? Let's try it again. Hold out your arm like a, a tree branch. and get your caterpillar. A fuzzy little caterpillar wiggled down the tree. He wiggled long. He wiggled short. He wiggled right to me. I put him in a covered box. Don't go away, I said, but when I looked again, I saw a butterfly instead. Make those butterfly wings. Okay, for our next story, we're going to read Bear and Duck. Okay, Bear and Duck. Bear and Duck is written by Katie Hudson and illustrated by Katie Hudson. And we're reading it with permission from Harper Collins Publishing Company. Oh, I see Bear down here and the ducks saying quack. Bear was a bear, and in most ways, he was just like any other bear. He was big and furry, he slept all winter, and he ate lots and lots of honey. But in one big way, Bear was not like other bears. Bear's problem was that he wished he weren't a bear at all. He was tired of sleeping all winter, his fur felt hot in the summer, and he was sick of all the angry bees. Poor Bear. Leave me alone, he growled rubbing his sore, stung nose. That's it, Bear decided. I am done being a bear. Just then, Bear heard a noise, a happy. I don't sleep all winter or have hot fur or bees stinging my nose kind of noise. I wonder what he's hearing. Quack! The sound was music to his ears.
So Bear slipped into the line of happy yellow ducks. Quack, he chimed in. He watched the ducks every move. Yes, he could get used to being a duck. In fact, he decided he was a good duck. Luckily, no one noticed the new duck until Bear let out a too loud and happy quack. He made a really loud quack. Stop right there, Bear. What are you doing in our line, snapped Duck. You don't belong here. Aw, look how sad Bear looks. But please, said Bear, I don't want to be a bear anymore. Can you please teach me how to be a duck? Please? Well, all right, said Duck. I guess I can help. And here's a book that says how to be the perfect duck. How to be a duck. Rule number one, nest building. Step one, collect twigs and old leaves. Step two, build a nest. Step three, place egg in nest. Sit on egg, keep egg safe and warm. Do bears sit on eggs? Under no, uh, step four, under no circumstances should you lose your egg. I think he's looking in the, in the nest for an egg. This bear is silly. How to be a duck, rule two, swimming. Step one, waddle into the water. Step two, flap feet one at a time to swim. Step three, no splashing permitted. He's trying not to splash. How to be a duck, rule three, flying. Step one, find the perfect hill to take off. Step two, run while flapping wings and keeping beak pointed upward. Step three, once in the air, crash. Oh dear, poor bear, bears can't fly, right? This was definitely not going as planned. Bear wasn't good at being a duck after all. Duck felt sorry for Bear. Don't be sad, Bear. Look, you climbed a tree. Ducks can't do that. Bear felt a little better. He decided to climb up and get that apple for Duck. The apple was very high and the branch was very bendy. Bear reached as far as he could when Boing! I'm flying, Bear called out happily, just like a duck. But inside, Bear wasn't actually happy at all. Flying twisted his tummy, and the landing was far too tricky. Crash! Uh-oh, he crashed right on his head. I think I prefer climbing, he told Duck. Being a bear doesn't seem all that bad, said Duck, and... You make a really good bear. And a really good friend. That's the end of Bear and Duck. Okay, now we're going to do a rhyme about 10 little ducklings. 10 little ducks. Ducklings running at a dash, jumped in the pond with a great big splash. Then their mother called them quack, 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 and the ten little ducklings came swimming back. Can you try it with me? Hold up ten fingers, right? Ten little ducklings running at a dash. You run? jumped in the water with a great big splash.
Then their mother called them quack, 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 and ten little ducklings came swimming back. Okay, so we're going to hold up ten fingers, right? We're going to run. We're going to jump. We're going to splash. We're going to quack, quack, quack. And then we're going to come swimming back. You ready to try it with me? All right. Ten little ducklings running at a dash. Jumped in the water with a great big splash. Then their mother called them quack, quack, quack. And ten little ducklings came swimming back. All right. Now we're going to do our put your hands up high line. Can you put your hands way up? Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back, put your elbows in the middle and quack, quack, quack like a duck, right? Let's try it one more time. Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back, put your elbows in the middle and quack, quack, quack. Good job. For our last song, we're going to sing our good night friend song. And we're going to use sign language. Are you ready? Good night friends. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. It's time to say good night. One more time. Ready? Good night, friends. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. It's time to say good night. All right, thanks for sharing duck stories with me this week, and I hope I see you next week. Good night.